Govindan Aravindan the 21st of January 1935 to the 15th of March 1991 popularly known as G Aravindan was a film director screenwriter musician cartoonist and painter from Kerala India He was one of the pioneers of parallel cinema in Malayalam and is considered one of the greatest filmmakers in India He was known for his unorthodox way of filmmaking he changed his cinematic forms consistently and experimented in storytelling without regular narrative styles before venturing into the film field, he was an established cartoonist. He had also worked with documentaries and theatre. He also occasionally directed music for other filmmakers. The Government of India awarded him the fourth highest civilian award of Padma Shri in 1990. Biography <inaudible> 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 G. Aravindan was the son of famous comedy writer M. N. Govindan Nair. Aravindan started his professional life as a cartoonist for the journal Mathrabhumi. He established himself as a noted cartoonist in the early 1960s with his cartoon series Charya Manishyaram Valiya Lokavam which dealt with the adventures of the central characters Ramu and Guruji, mingled with political and social satire. The series was preceded by two more cartoon series, Ramuvinte Sahasika Yathrakal and Guruji, featuring the central characters of Charya Manishyaram Valiya Lokavam. He also worked for other journals as a cartoonist. At one point, Aravindan diverted his attention to theatre and music. He played a major role in establishing theatre and music clubs Navarangam and Sapanam. He became associated with eminent theatre figure Kavalam Narayana Panikar which accelerated his activities in the field of professional play. They created several plays like Kali and Ivanavan Kadamba. Aravindan was working as an officer in Revenue Board when he got associated with artist Devan, playwright Thikodian and writer Patathuvila Karanakaran. The early works of Aravindan were influenced by the group, for example, the spiritualism factor which can be seen in his early works can be attributed to satirist Sanjayan and mystic paintings of K.C.S. Panikkar. The first film directed by Aravindan, Uttarayanam came out as a product from this group. The film was produced by Karan Akaran and the story was written by Thikodian. The film, which exposes opportunism and hypocrisy set against the backdrop of the independence struggle, was inspired by Aravindan's own cartoon series Charya Lokavam Valiya Manishyaram Small World and Big People. The film is about Ravi, an unemployed young man, who has to face a series of encounters during his search for a job. Ravi reflects on the past struggles of the anti-British freedom fighters he has learned about from his paralysed father. He eventually meets Gopalan Muthalali, a leader of Quit India movement, but now a corrupt contractor. The film garnered wide critical praise and several awards, including five Kerala State Film Awards upon release. Aravindan's second film, Kanchana Sita, was an adaptation of C. N. Srikanthan Nair's play of the same name, which is a reworking of Valmiki's Ramayana. The film is credited with formation of a new stream called independent filmmaking in Malayalam. It interprets a story from the Uttara Kanda of the epic poem, where Rama sends his wife, Sita, to the jungle to satisfy his subjects. Director Aravindan interweaves the Samkhya Yoga philosophical concepts of Prakrita Purusha bonds throughout the film. The film, told in a feminist perspective, significantly differs from all other adaptations of Ramayana in the characterization of the central characters, including Rama and Lakshmana. The characters are humanized, contrary to the way divine characters from Indian mythology are usually depicted in visual media. The film was shot in the interior tribal areas of Andhra Pradesh and the roles of the epic heroes are played by Rama Chenchu tribal people or Koyas, who claim lineage to the mythological Rama. Upper-class Hindu groups accused of Aravindan of blasphemy for casting tribals in the role of Hindu epic heroes but Aravindan never heeded saying that the Ramachankas have classical features and are marvelous actors. While Kanchana Sita dealt with mythology, Aravindan's next film Thampu dealt with realism and told the story of suffering in a circus troupe. It was shot in black and white in a direct documentary mode. Aravindan won the award for Best Director at both National Film Awards and Kerala State Film Awards. His 1979 films Kumati and Esthapan also ran through different streams. Kumati is a Pied Piper-like figment of Malabar's folklore about a partly mythic and partly real magician called Kumati Boogeyman, while Esthapan blends together the biblical story of the deeds of Christ and the way society responded to him, with the life of Esthapan, whose life mystified others. 
Indefinability of the Human Mind was the theme of his next film Pokevale 1981. The music for this film was composed by flautist Harry Prasad Chaurasia. The legend is that visuals of this film were composed according to musical notations, without any script. The protagonist of the film is a young artist who lives with his father, a radical friend, a sportsman and a music-loving young woman. His world collapses when his father dies, the radical friend leaves him, the sportsman friend gets injured in an accident and has to give up sports and her family takes the woman away to another city. The lead role was played by poet Balachandran Chulakadu. His next film Chidambaram came after a gap of four years. The 1985 film was an adaptation of a short story by C. V. Sriraman and was produced by Aravindan under the banner Suryakanthi. The film explores various aspects of relations between men and women through the lives of three people living in a cattle farm in the hilly areas on the border of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Themes of guilt and redemption are also dealt with. Unlike earlier films directed by Aravindan, Chidambaram featured a cast consisting of many popular actors, Bharat Gopi, Smita Patil, Srinivasan and Mohandas play the lead roles. In 1986 Oradathu can be seen as a continuation of Aravindan's earlier film Thampu and his cartoon series Charya Manishyaram Valiya Lokavam The Small Man and the Big World. The story is about the problems faced by the people of a hamlet with no electricity, when electric supply finally reaches them. The film reaches a conclusion that life is better without electricity. Though the film is discussing a serious issue, the treatment of it is very simplistic. Humor and intensity characterize the film that is set in the mid-50s. The film is different from many of Aravindan's earlier works in that it deals with a broad range of characters and lacks a clear-cut linear story. The theme of Oradathu demanded a caricature treatment so Aravindan made it that way. When asked about this deviation, Aravindan stated, there is an element of caricature in all the characters. A little exaggeration and lot of humor was consciously introduced to make effective the last sequence, which is the explosion. In fact the whole film moves towards the climax—the clash on the day of the festival and the breaking out of the fire." The film is complex in that it has many characters and many incidents and therefore does not have a single motif. Hence, Aravindan had to use a number of shots in the film. The usual type of music is also absent. Instead, the sounds of the incidents are used to the maximum. In the film, different characters speak different dialects of Malayalam, for example the villagers speak pure Valuvanadan Malayalam of South Malabar, the overseer uses the Trivandrum Malayalam the fake doctor uses Travancore Malayalam etc. In this period Aravindan did a number of documentaries and short films. He composed music for films like Aaro Oral, Paravi and Orthuval Pakshikal. Aravindan's 1989 film Uni had a star cast mainly consisting of foreigners. Aravindan's final project Visthahara about refugees in Bengal was based on C. V. Sriraman's short story in the same name. The film had Mohanlal and Nina Gupta in major roles. Aravindan died on 15 March 1991, before the release of Visthahara. Awards Civilian Awards Padma Shri National Film Awards 1974, award for the best feature film on the 25th anniversary of India's independence, Uttarayanam 1974, best feature film in Malayalam, Uttarayanam 1978, best direction, Kanchana Sita 1979, best direction, Thampu 1986, Best Film, Chidambaram 1987, Best Direction, Oradathu 1991, Best Feature Film in Malayalam, Visthaharakarala State Film Awards 1974, Best Film, Uttarayanam 1974, Best Director, Uttarayanam 1974, Best Screenplay, Uttarayanam 1978, Second Best Film, Thampu 1978, Best Director, Thampu 1979, Best Film, Esthapan 1979, Best Children's Film, Kumati 1979, Best Director, Esthapan 1981, Best Director, Pokavale 1985, Best Film, Chidambaram 1985, Best Director, Chidambaram 1985, Best Documentary, The Brown Landscape 
1986, Best Film, Oridathu 1986, Best Director, Oridathu 1986, Best Documentary, The Catch 1988, Best Music Director, Or Thuval Pakshikal 1990, Best Film, Visthahara 1990, Best Director, Visthahara Filmography Topic Direction Noche also wrote the story of Esthapan and dialogues for Visthahara. Equals 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 other contributions. <laughs>